Hey guys, the worst crime on earth is when you pretend not to know what is wrong with you. When you continue deceiving people about a particular thing and you are aware of that thing. You know, when you do that, that means you don't want people to have solution of such particular thing. So that means you yourself is involved in that thing. We don't need to talk one thing, one thing, one thing in Nigeria over 19 years now. Insecurity here and there. Nigerians, you will be shocked to hear how General Zamani the, of River State, you understand, said Governor Erufai confessed that he knew where bandits came from. Okay, if he had confessed, he knew where uh, bandits came from. Why are we still having issues to end these people? They came from one road, Abby. They can as well push them to that the same road. He said he paid them money to stop killing. So is that making sense? So since they've been giving the money to stop killing, did the killing stop? For how many years we were paying these people to stop killing? And there was never a day you have gotten solution from what you have been doing. Who is now fooling who? Now, in the northern part of the Nigeria today, this banditry had become a very recruitive business. Whether the northerners like it or not, may them continue to pretend. Because they know what is on. They know what is going on. The situation whereby Papa go be bandits, son go be bandits, grandpiki go be bandits, because he's paying them. The government remains proactive, uh, inactive. They don't want to be proactive. How can you be begging people who are killing you? Now, this country, now they hear say bandits repent. They can't be police officer. Boko Haram repent. He can't be soldier. And when all these things they happen, you go ask yourself questions. As all these things don't happen, they can't repent. But you know, say when person repents, eh? When they say somebody don't repent, all your old, old ways, you not go go back to to those old ways, and you go even they let people they know the solution to these things. Why is it that up to now those repentant bandit and Boko Haram, they have not seen giving Nigerian government clue on how to get these people because they are killing. They continue to kill and adopt. They should know their ways now. They should know their secrets. So why are they opening up? These people should stop deceiving Nigerians. If they want to stop these bandit issues or bandit or uh, Boko Haram, now one day, now Nigerian government will stop them. This is a government. When they stay, they plan to adopt somebody when not they Nigeria. But you get people when they're your backyard, they terrorize you. You know, not get your hand on them. We should stop deceiving ourselves. Anyway, maybe we will hear waiting in the talk. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Erufai confessed that he knew where bandits came from. He paid them money to stop killing General Zamani Lee Quartz. The former military governor of River State, General Zamani, has has disclosed that the decision of the former governor of Kaduna State, Nasa Erufai, to pay bandits in order to stop the killings of the people in, in Kaduna State proved to be counterproductive. General Zamani made this known in an interview on Arise Television where he spoke about the past and the current state of insecurity in Kaduna State. During the interview, General Zamani said when he assumed office here, he also confessed that he knew where the bandits came from. He's talking about Erufai. He went to where they were to pay them money to stop killing Southern Kaduna people, which made the situation worse. In the end, he left the state more divided on tribal and religious lines 
I said somewhere in a recent interview that in Southern Kaduna, many family compounds has both Muslims and Christians. And in some instance, traditional religion people, he, Erufai, planted that seed of discord. And since he left, I am happy to say that with the change in government, the temple of the killings and destructions of villages has drastically reduced, he said. Okay. Um, even with what Erufai said the other time, you can understand that he is a, 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 let me not use that word. He does not like, he does not like the Christians. You understand? Because during his, his tenor, he makes sure that nothing goes to the hands of the Christians. Well, someone says something here. He says Zamani has no moral right to comment on security issues in Kaduna. He it was as a seven as a seven military officer who planted the seed of the hatred and violence that has now become the 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 baggage of Southern Kaduna. He taught the people to hate and now no Southern Kaduna person can live again. This is really bad. Okay. You have been a general in the army. Show that you mean nothing good for the people. You represent and having people like you in the past is the reason why we find ourselves where we are today. Because you people do not want the peace of Nigerians. See When you why you go no say this person they involve of this thing and you still they pet the person. If you no say the former river the former Kaduna state governor caused the issues or he knows too much about the bandits, wait to make run off you bring and close and make it talk way. But in a good day there in this Nigeria they're gonna tell you say um we know people who are using this insecurity to eat food, but just that they are well connected. And for that reason, we can't go close to them. Nigeria, wake up. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.